So my name is Curtis Wolf. Uh, I'm the director at the Kansas Wetlands Education Center, which is in uh, the very center center part of the of the country, um, the center part of the state of Kansas. And um, so we are a nature center that um, is located at a large wetland called Cheyenne Bottoms. And so Cheyenne Bottoms is considered to be the largest marsh on the interior of the United States. And um, so we're a nature center that really kind of specializes in uh, all sorts of environmental education. And so we have quite the following of, of visitors that come through and, and uh, various people that come for our programs as well. We're always looking for some some new features to uh, and offerings for our visitors to, to come in. You know, something to attract visitors to to our our center and and um, and that sort of thing. And so, one of the things we had we had a, gar a pollinator garden in the center of our at the entrance to our center. We were looking at some ways of kind of reutilizing that space a little bit. Uh, the garden itself had a, it was a ton of maintenance. <laughs> and um, so we were looking at some some other ways of utilizing that space. And um, we had actually came across, um, I don't know if it was one of your products, but it was something very similar at another um, science center that's in Kansas. And um, we got to looking and came across your company and and really were, were impressed by the, the products. And, and just thought it was the perfect way of, of, uh, of bringing something new to that area um, and something that could be utilized by the visitors coming in. And so that's uh, kind of where it started at. You know, the way we chose was, was mostly, uh, first of all, you know, something that went along with uh, the, the wetlands. Um, themselves. Um, so, so the cattail chimes is kind of the centerpiece of of what we chose, and obviously that's that's perfect because we we have cattails here um, in the wetlands, and and that's a, a main thing. And then um, it kind of went from there, and and we kind of because it was in our pollinator garden, um, we kind of focused on some of the other things that got, went with that theme as well. And so, um, you know, all the pieces that we we chose, the five five pieces that we chose were. Um, all have something to do with either the garden or the wetlands, and and we just fig figured that they they fit in well with with what the center is and does. When visitors come in and see the see the new feature. Um, I think their immediate reaction is that looks incredible, <laughs> and so um, it it visually it's it's been a a wonderful thing for us. And then um, um, you know it's it's very inviting. And so being right along the sidewalk as you walk up to the center, um, you know it, it, even if people you know and we see this all the time with adults will <laughs> will step in and and at least you know tap on an instrument or or do something with it, but. Um, the kids have have really enjoyed it. Um, it's it's like I said, it's very inviting for them to come up and start playing, and they they've got to hit all of them. They they're going to go around and and do the whole tour of of all five instruments and and play them. So um, we we had uh, our big butterfly festival a couple of weeks ago, and and that was kind of the big first event that we've had since they got installed, and and. Uh, being that it's there with the pollinator garden, and that's kind of a feature of the butterfly festival, um, it got a lot of use that morning. <laughs> so it, it was uh, there was kids on it the, the entire time. 